fly the American flag in Mecca. That will solve everything. I mean, it'll cost a couple million lives, you know, and we'll kill some good people. But it's the only sane thing to do. I appreciate you. God bless America. All right. Well, well said, Andrew. Thank you very much. Do appreciate it. Let's uh, go to uh, let's check out the, 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 the south in the middle of the country. Uh, let's go to Texas. WBAP line six. Leroy, welcome to the Savage Nation. How you doing? I'm good, sir. How are you? I'm doing OK. Appreciate your time. What, how can I help you I'm here on the Savage Nation? Yes. Yes, sir. I was just calling to comment on the uh, where you had talked about the, the white man. uh the destruction, um, or whoever had said that, uh, I, I think more or less it was just a form of when wars have always started, uh, i.e. like when the white Americans from Europe had came here into the land from the Indians, fast forward in time, you know, George Bush starting the war, uh, I, I think it's more or less that type of, of idealism uh, that, that certain people of, of certain ethnicities have. I do agree with you, though, slavery was a long time ago. And, you know, the, the slaves and the slaveholders, it's no more. But I, I think now when, when you look at it, war is more or less always being uh, done by some fair-skinned person. Well, that's not true, uh, Leroy. Um, in, in modern era, obviously, because uh, you know whites controlled so many things here in America, uh, that is not true. There have been wars going on for thousands and thousands of years on the African continent and you know in, into the Middle East over there, and there were no white men um, involved at all. Actually, none even existed over there um, in China. You have wars going back thousands of years as well. And again, no white men involved. There's the Chinese versus the Chinese. Um, and if you look back to slavery, which I cited, uh, you have a lot of people don't realize because it was misrepresented by Roots. You know, they show them uh, chasing LeVar Burton with the actor who played Kunta Kinte with the net. The way the slaves were, uh, you know this, Leroy, they were warring tribes, black tribes warring against each other, and they would sell their prisoners of war to the slave traders. Doesn't make it right, but that's how a lot of the slaves ended up, you know, coming to, you know, wherever they ended up. So war, Leroy, is it's a human condition, the Chinese, uh, you know, the African nation, all the countries there, the Middle East, uh, America. And every country has its history of war since the beginning of time. So, you know, in modern day, yeah, you can say that about America because uh, white men were in power. But historically, it's a human condition. But thanks for your call, Leroy. I appreciate you taking the time from WBAP. We'll take a quick break. But before we do, remember... Hey, Christmas is over, but government zero, no borders, no language, no culture. I read from it before. I'm going to read from it a little later. Um, it's going to hook you. Um, don't take my word for it. Uh, trust in and of yourself. Of course, go to michaelsavage.com and sign up for the uh, free newsletter there. Follow the good doctor on Twitter at a savage nation and go to the Facebook, um, facebook.com and go to the, the page that has his book on it. That is his page. The others, they're fan pages. They're appreciated, but that is not his page. Dave, Mike, John, Tony, Charlene, we'll get some estrogen in on this when we return here to the Savage Nation. Welcome back to the Savage Nation, the home of Government Zero. No borders, no language, no culture. Um, coming up after the bottom of the hour, I'm going to discuss a CNN um, ORC poll that says more Americans say terrorists are winning than ever before. And I'm going to give you an example. You're going to want to stick around as to uh, how that was so evident and how it is number one in the minds of people in America, uh, an episode that happened just on Christmas Day. So stick around here at the Savage Nation. But right now, let's get back to the phones. Uh, line 8, WJR Charlene, our first female caller. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the Savage Nation. Yes, um, I wanted to say that, you know, if you wanted to establish a police state, doing what Obama's doing is a good way to go about it. With all these illegals that he's letting in and all these Muslims, you know, you have to have a huge surveillance system put in place. <clears throat> and so, and I think that this is being done on purpose myself. But, uh, you know, I, I don't know if you agree, but that's what I think, is that this is, uh, you know, the best way to bring in a police state is to do what they're doing now. I'll tell you what, Charlene, I, I disagree with you, but not 100 percent, because we're on the same page in that I think Obama would love to have a national police force. 
And uh, uh, Dr. Savage and I are on the same page with that, and he mentions it in Government Zero, talking about um, a national police force that Obama would love to have. But I think the reasons he's letting in um, all of these refugees that are laced with terrorists, that's just simply to pad the voting block uh, for the future of the Democratic Party. So... Well, you and I kind of uh, we're kissing cousins on this one. We agree, but we disagree. But at the end, we think he wants the same thing, just for different reasons. Well, we know that um, uh, that uh, who was that last attorney general? Um, oh. who, uh, Eric, Eric, I think it's 1947 Holder, who thinks Jim Crow laws still exist and then doesn't think everybody's equal. It's in his own mind. I'm going to buy him a calendar. That guy. Right. Well, he, he, he was being interviewed on television. I saw him, and he said that they want to get rid of our current legal system. That's what all these uh, protests at these universities are about. This is George Soros that's behind this, pushing to change the laws because they want to replace the Constitution. And they even said that, the protesters at Mizzou said, that they want a new Constitution. If they don't get it, there's going to be violence. And I <laughs> I'll knew tell you right what, that. Charlene, they would have to, number one, first read... Of the United States Constitution, which I don't think any of them have. And secondly, they would have to then understand the Constitution, which I guarantee none of them are capable of. But uh, excellent point there, Charlene. Uh, do appreciate it. Again, um, a lot of the references I'm making are to government zero, no borders, no language, no culture. This is the Savage Nation. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Welcome back to the Savage Nation. Lou Pate here with you. Again, check out michaelsavage.com. Uh, free sign-up for the Michael Savage newsletter. Um, you're definitely going to want to check that out. Come on, a freebie. Who's giving away anything free in this sluggish Obama economy? Uh, check out the doctor at uh, a Savage Nation on Twitter, Facebook. Remember, it's the page that has his book on it, Government Zero. No borders, no language, no culture. Just quickly, before we get back to the phones, there's a CNN ORC poll says more Americans say terrorists are winning uh, than ever before. Americans are more likely to say that terrorists are winning the war against the United States than they have been at any point since September 11th. And I'm not, that was just um, those uh, poll was taken just last week. I'm not going to start crunching the numbers because um, that is boring and it doesn't stick with anybody. What I'll tell you is this Christmas Day, Disney World, Florida. People are there enjoying their Christmas day. Be you Jew or Gentile, it's Christmas day. It's a beautiful day. It's Orlando. The weather's nice. It's December. There were false reports of a shooting in Disneyland. Remember, we talked earlier in the show, for those of you just joining the Savage Nation, about how Disneyland and other parks are installing metal detectors. Metal detectors, that's in Universal Studios, the other park. But here, there were crowds spending Christmas night downtown Disney. Someone spread a rumor or heard something they thought was a shot. The word filtered through the crowd. Uh, people at Disney, downtown Disney, stampeded to safety. Um, there was a, Here's what happened. There was a reported altercation at a restaurant. And I don't know, some sound happened, led some to believe that shots were fired. People weren't thinking that it was a domestic dispute. People weren't thinking that it was a robbery. People weren't thinking it was gangbangers doing what gangbangers do. People thought it was terrorism. Paris is on the mind. San Bernardino is on the mind. A year of beheadings on the Internet. Whether you watched them or not, you know they're there. So a rumor quickly uh, dispelled, uh, was dispelled by the Orange County Sheriff's Office that this was not gunfire, but at the moment, people thought. In the moment, crowds panicked. They ran for their lives. This is Disney World. Christmas. It doesn't get much purer than that. And... Um, People were. Uh, someone reported that people were running and screaming and saying, and I quote, someone is shooting, run. Again, it was not a gunshot. I want to make that clear. It was, it was a case of mistaken uh, sound of some sort, but a man identified um, on Twitter recounted the experience, said he overheard a Disney employee explain the incident started when they thought they heard something. This is a misunderstanding, but the issue here is terrorism is living rent-free in the minds of Americans. And it falls right at the feet of President Obama. Let's get back to the phones here on the Savage Nation. Dave, uh, WABC, New York, welcome to the Savage Nation. How are you? Thank you for holding. 
right, thank you. Um, listen, I just wanted to say I had a little bit of a problem. You grouping uh, Muslims in with all terrorists, you know, using it as a synonym. Um, I had uh, dated a Turkish girl for a few years, and I got to say they are very, very far from what you would define as a terrorist. Uh, she's actually in medical school now. Her whole family is, are, uh, what is it, um, American citizens. And uh, her dad works seven days a week, eight hours a day. They all learn the language. They would all pretty much abide by uh, Savage's border language and culture in that way. And uh, the guy's actually got a bullet in his back from fighting terrorists in the eastern part of Turkey, serving his country. You know, so when you say, t I mean, you're on the radio, man. You know, you got to try to enlighten people, not play. I am. This is like Dave, let me say it to you this way. There's an old expression. I didn't make it up, but I've heard it along the way. Okay, um, all Muslims are not terrorists, but all terrorists are Muslims. True. I mean, look at the guy who just shot up the abortion clinic. I mean, yeah, he was a nut, but he was doing it for some. Uh, and I'm, I'm Catholic. I'm telling you. Okay, uh, now, but look at look at, and, I, and I'm sure the people you know are fine. But look at the look at the married couple. Look at uh, Malik and uh, Syed Farouk. Okay, a week before. They um, killed those people in San Bernardino. Somebody might have called the talk radio show saying the same thing about them. He was born here. He's an American. He met he met the Middle Eastern uh, Muslim love of his life. She came over here. She became an American. They're enjoying the freedom of religion. They made a beautiful baby together, and they're living the American dream in beautiful Southern California. And but nobody knew. They were a sleeper cell. Not saying your your friend's family is a sleeper cell, but the over I, I, it's it's not the individuals, Dave. I am just of the opinion, and we will have to have a, a spirit of discussion, agree to disagree, that Islam is a cancer on the world, and if it is not, people who worship the faith need to stand up and try to take their religion back. Well, I mean, that still doesn't justify you using Muslim as a synonym for terrorist, though. That's what I'm trying to say. And you, you, you saying that on the radio, I mean, you're talking to tens of thousands of people right now. It helps to reconstitute that belief in their minds, you know? And even though, yes, we're living through a time where most terrorists are, are Muslims, you know? I, I mean, that's an irrefutable fact. That does, still doesn't justify you using the synonym that Muslims and terrorists are one and the same. Why you know, I mean, look we, at the King of Jordan. Why George. is there not, but Dave, why is there not a million Muslim march on Washington saying those terrorists do not reflect our faith? How come? How come? It, how come the community is so quiet? From how come no Muslims are calling me right now? You're calling and and, and, and you're a Catholic or a Christian. I'll tell you exactly why right now because those Muslims don't even associate themselves with those types of people. First of all, they don't they don't feel a need to to apologize for something that they didn't never did. I, mean, I didn't like, say apologize, and I didn't say associate. I'm just saying speak up for your faith. Bring that up. You could you could uh, she could organize a march on Washington. That's not associating with terrorists. She could organize a march on Washington. That's not. No one's looking for an apology. If she truly believes that the Muslim faith has to take back their religion, they even um. I'll give you an example. Oh, I got it right here. Let, give me one second to pull it up. Um, in Ar it was in Iran. Okay, hold on one second. One second. Uh, the Islamic State leader. Okay. Um, no, that was that was him. Uh, Rouhani. Rouhani in Iran said Islam must fix its own image. That was in Reuters just last week. This is the uh, theocratical leader of Iran, Rouhani, saying Islam must fix its own image. That's not me. I know he's also one of the number one uh, enemies of ISIS too. Um, and he's also and he's also um, we'll have to leave it there, Dave. Thanks for your call. He's also um, one of the he is the number one state sponsor of terrorism around the world. That that is a fact. So it, just because don't kill the messenger. Just because I'm here on Doctor Savage's show, The Savage Nation, preaching the truth about what Islam is when. Uh, theocratic leaders in Iran are saying Islam must fix its own image. Don't blame me for speaking the truth. Blame them for uh, speak to them for being so quiet. Let's head south, line two to South Carolina. WTMA Marshall, welcome to the Savage Nation. Hey Dave, I'm going to try to stay calm, but a couple of minor points first. I'd be pretty darn pissed off if if you told me I had to take a loyalty oath to prove my loyalty to my country. I'll tell you that right now. 
or if I had to take a loyalty oath to say I don't hold the Christian Christians uh, uh, attacking abortion.